I can't believe that I'm even like telling you guys this right now. Like, I feel like a lot of YouTubers are not hip to this. I can't believe I'm telling you guys this right now. Oh my God. Hey guys, it's Nina. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel if you've been here before. What's up besties? If you are new, go ahead and subscribe. As you guys saw from the title, today is going to be a little girl boss chat. I don't know how I feel about the term like girl boss. Hashtag girl boss, hashtag boss babe. I don't know, like, you know, woman empowerment is woman empowerment, but it, <laughs> it always feels a little funny to me. I don't know, whatever. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys how influencers are actually making money. Today, I'm going to be telling you guys tips, tricks, secrets to how influencers are actually making money on the internet, okay? You have to work, period. Like if you wanna eat, if you wanna survive, if you wanna take care of yourself, and especially if you want to thrive, you have to work. But that does not mean that you have to be working a nine to five and literally digging your own grave. Like, baby, we're the generation that is over that. Like, we are just not about that. Anybody can be an influencer, anybody can make money on the internet. Like, it can seem overwhelming, but like, you can climb a mountain, you just have to start at the bottom, you know what I mean? So. I'm going to give you guys some amazing tips and tricks, stuff that I wish I knew. Um, I'm still learning every single day, especially since I've like taken on uh, using the internet to make money like full time, you know what I mean? So I'm still learning things every single day, but you learn to teach. So I'm here to teach. Let's get into it. All right, so forgive me for being on my phone while I'm filming, but I have all the notes written out and I'm going to give you guys four different like sections of ways that you can make money on the internet. Um, these are things that I actually do myself. So I know what I'm talking about and I'll be able to give you guys like more insight. So the first is going to be the basics. Let's talk about social medias that can bring you revenue through ads or views or whatever. That is TikTok, YouTube, and Facebook. I wish Instagram. Instagram would be way too profitable. That's why they're not trying to give out no money. So I'm gonna start least lucrative to most lucrative. So the least lucrative of these three is going to be TikTok. Now TikTok is low paying, but I do get a good chunk of change from TikTok. But the way that you have to do it is like, you have to be super, super, super consistent. So the more views you get on TikTok, the more revenue you're going to get. However, um, TikTok is the easiest of these three to build a following on. If you are just consistent on TikTok and you're following the trends, you're going to get a following. And uh, more than likely when you request to join the creator fund, which is how you can actually get paid for your views on TikTok, you will be accepted if you have a decent follow. So yeah, TikTok can pay you, but you have to be super consistent following the trends. This is actually gonna sound crazy, but I'm not joking. Maybe if you're making like five to 10 TikToks a day and they're trending, like you use trending audios, you're doing the TikTok trends that are getting on the For You page, um, you're gonna make that money. And also like, can we just be real, sex sells. And TikTok is a kid's app. Like, I'm not telling you to go in there and shoot soft porn. But, like, there's a reason why all the girls that are, like, super popular on TikTok, like, Ida Cancino and Emily Hernandez, like, they're all very attractive. They all have very nice bodies. Like, you know what I mean? I understand there's, like, a social beauty standard that we want to deconstruct. But, like, girl, if you got nice boobs and a big booty, use it on TikTok, okay? That's just the gist of it. Don't hate me for playing the game. So yeah, TikTok is not going to pay you as much until you have a huge following, but you still make money on TikTok. And if you're consistent, you're gonna see a decent amount of revenue because like I said, your views go up, your TikTok payments go up. Next is Facebook. So with Facebook's revenue, you can make a decent amount of money. However, Facebook is like somewhere in the middle. Like Facebook is not too difficult to get a following going if you're posting like a lot of videos um you'll notice like those stupid craft videos that are always awful and terrible and low budget they get a lot of views um and so the more views you're getting the more money you're making obviously so maybe if you like make youtube videos right or you're a photographer maybe if you take little clips from your youtube videos like uh the most interesting part of the video and post it on facebook um, it will double as promo for your YouTube channel because people will go check it out and also people will be engaged They'll you know, give you good engagement. They'll comment. Oh my god. That's so crazy Take Bailey Syrian for example. She is a youtuber who does true crime and makeup videos She does other videos as well, but that is what she's most popular for So she will take the most interesting part of one of her true crime videos and she will 
trim that clip and put it on Facebook. People in the Facebook comments are tagging their friends, tagging their family like, hey, check this girl out. I watch her YouTube videos. I saw a comment that verbatim said on one of Bailey Serene's videos two days ago. It was like, I've wasted way too much time watching these videos. Check this girl out. So like people are tagging their friends and stuff, telling them about Bailey. So there's her promotion for her YouTube channel and for her other Facebook videos. And then also she's getting good engagement. So that means she's getting good views on the video. So she is promoting herself for free and then also making money off the fact that people are watching her Facebook videos. Genius, right? Also, people love like little tips and tricks videos or say you're a photographer, you can be like, here's the lens and the settings that I use to get this shot. Or you can be like, you won't believe the shot that I got with a client this day. And like you can film little parts of you doing your photography work. So things like that work. So if you do make video content, take the best parts, most interesting parts, whatever of your video content and put that onto Facebook. If you don't make video content, then just take a few clips of you doing your craft, whatever that may be, and post it on Facebook for promotion and get some revenue from the people that are watching that. But now we're moving on to the big boy, you guys. We're moving on to the big daddy, of the ad revenue game of the video revenue game whatever you want to call it and that is youtube i promise you i promise you your favorite youtuber is not broke there's no way to be on youtube now i will say youtube is the most lucrative but it is the most difficult to grow a consistent and engaging fan base on and i'm just gonna keep it real with y'all especially if you're a person of color like it is so difficult and it can be really discouraging. So if you are a person of color, I want to encourage you to just keep going. I know it's hard, but like you'll find your audience. Um, when you look on the YouTube trending page, you don't see people that look like you and you don't feel like wanted or welcomed in the community. And YouTube is doing their part to improve their diversity and inclusivity. But I don't know. I feel like personally, there still might be something in the algorithm i don't know i don't know i'm this is like 100 speculation youtube don't come for me like i'm just i'm just saying it, it can be discouraging as a creator of color youtube will not allow you to monetize until you have a certain amount of views and a certain amount of subscribers but once you do you can monetize your content which means that you can have advertisers place ads before during or after your video to make you money so i'm gonna give you guys some tips about that the first thing is if you do not have a lot of views a lot of um like engagement a lot of consistent like increase in subscribers the best way to make money in that case is to stay consistent you look at these youtubers who have six million five million three million ten million they only have to post one video a month and that's where the bulk of their money is coming from because they're getting so many damn views if you are not getting a lot of views that is okay that just means you have to post more i was posting every single day at one point because you know your girl was getting to the bag so my first tip is until you have a large enough fan base to where you can like really relax, go hard on YouTube. I try to film and edit six days out of the seven days a week. Sunday is my day off and sometimes I'm still filming and editing on Sundays. But like the schedule that I have in my mind <laughs> is that I'm working six days a week. Sunday is my day off from YouTube. There are a lot of people that tell you to like find a niche and then stay there but I feel like when you're a creator you should be allowed to make more than one type of video like there are there are tons of videos that will tell you to find one lane find one arena find one niche to build and stay there i'm not going to be that creator to tell you that because i want to make vlogs i want to make luxury content i want to make calls i want to make this i want to make that like and there are lots of creators that do it jenna marbles can get on this app and literally make a video taking a nap don't let anybody tell you that you only, can only make one type of video okay okay um so that's my first tip be consistent to make that money if you don't have a huge following yet. My second tip. So my second tip for you guys is going to be something that I'm a little nervous to even mention. Like I watched this one YouTuber. I don't remember her name, but I will have it here on the screen somewhere. And she makes videos to help other YouTubers grow their channel, which I think is so great, so beautiful. And she said something in one of her videos that got me to thinking. And I tried something out. And I saw an increase in revenue. So if you are a YouTuber who has been approved for monetizing your content, here is a little tip so you can see some increase in your money. So there are different types of ads that you can place onto your videos. You can place ads that have to be skipped. 
you can place ads that are just banners so it's just like an overlay you can place ads that you can't skip and the viewer just has to watch the whole thing you can have ads that are just at the bottom of the video or like on the side of the screen however if you want to make some money here's what you do with your ad settings change it so that all of the ads that you place during the video are either skippable or non-skippable nothing else and let me tell you guys why you not only get paid when somebody watches the ad, but when somebody interacts with the ad. If they click on the website, you get more money from that. If they go and like hit shop now or something, or you get paid more money from the advertiser. So here's the dealio. Engagement gets you more money. So if a person either has to engage or has to watch the entire ad, you're going to get paid more. So when they hit skip video, that counts as engagement because they literally have to engage with the ad to get it off of the screen. Or if it's a ad that they cannot skip and they just have to watch the whole 30 seconds of the ad, then the advertiser knows for sure that they watch the entire thing because of your ad settings, you will get more money. I can't believe that I'm even like telling you guys this right now. Like I feel like a lot of YouTubers are not hip to this. I can't believe I'm telling you guys this right now. Oh my God. But yeah, if you're a YouTuber and your content is monetized, that's how you can get yourself some more money. All right, so let's move on to the next section of this, and that's going to be sponsorships. I'm going to touch on this lightly because it's pretty like simple. Even micro influencers, meaning you don't have tons of followers, you don't have hundreds of thousands of followers, you know, even micro influencers get approached for sponsorships, promotion. Hey, we want to send you this for free. Can you do a video about it? Can you put this at the end of one of your vlogs or at the beginning of one of your videos? Can you do a haul with our products? Can you make a TikTok with our products? Here is the tea, sis. When you don't have a ton, ton, ton of followers, these brands think that if they just give you the free product, that that's okay. And that's where they're wrong. Even if you start charging just $50, $75, $100, you need to immediately start negotiating some money rather than just getting the free product because they approach you for a reason. They believe that you can get a reaction, a response. They believe that you can elicit some type of interest from the following base that you have, which means that you are worth the money that you're asking for. Because if you weren't, they would not have approached you, period. If you're not worth just $100 to post a TikTok, or if you're not worth just $75 for an Instagram feed post, and these are low prices, like y'all gotta think, it's like the Jada Waiters and the, the real Kyle sisters and like the Kylie Jenners, they are charging that bag, okay? And so you asking for $50, $75, $100, I wish a company would say no. If they didn't believe you had influence, you would have never gotten the email. You would have never gotten the DM. They would have never asked for your help to promote their product. So ask for money. Say, yeah, that's great. I'd love to work with you guys. I checked out your brand. You guys seem so awesome. But I charge X, Y, and Z for a post. I know it can be intimidating. The worst they can say is no or just not respond to you. Like, they're not going to... I mean, like, what's the worst that can happen? You ask for some money, they say no, and you don't get a free product that you didn't know existed. What's the worst that can happen? All right, next, we have two ways that you can make money from videos, from posting on Instagram, posting on Facebook, TikTok, whatever. So the first is going to be something called Magic Links. If you don't know what Magic Links is, it's something that you can apply and they either approve you or deny you based upon your following, your brand, whatever, right? And with magic links, every time you leave a link in a description, every time you link something in an Instagram story, every time you link something for your Facebook friends and followers, you get paid a commission if they purchase something. If I link the sweatpants that I have on right now from Pretty Little Thing, and somebody goes to the Pretty Little Thing website and buys something, whether they bought these sweatpants or they bought a cart full of other stuff that I didn't even link, I still make a commission because they used my click-through link to purchase something. If you look into these influencers or these YouTubers, whatever, if you look at their description boxes or like the links that they leave on social media websites, when it says magic and then you click on it and, go to, and it goes to the item, that means that it is a magic link and they are getting paid every time that somebody clicks on that and purchases something. The best thing about magic links is that it's easy. Like, when you make content, you you wanna link things for people anyway. So it's like you're linking it and then you're also seeing a reward. 
for putting people on to your great products. And it does not cost your subscriber or your follower or whatever. It does not cost a person who purchased anything, anything. It doesn't cost them anything. They can still use discount codes, whatever. It's literally just like they clicked your link, they bought their thing, you get a little bit of money back. That's it. And then also there is the Amazon Influencer Program. You have to apply and be accepted into that as well, depending on following brand, whatever. But once you do, it's the same basic principle. You link something from Amazon and you get a commission if somebody clicks through and buys that product, which I think is a really great program because who the hell doesn't have an Amazon obsession? Like buying things from Amazon is just... I don't know, there's something about Amazon, maybe it's the consumerism and the capitalist in me, but there's something about Amazon that's just like, wow, she is really that girl. Like, I don't wanna buy from Target, I don't wanna buy from Walmart, I wanna buy from Amazon. So yeah, um, Magic Links and the Amazon Influencer Program are two, another two ways that you can make yourself some money online because you're posting the content anyway. People want the link to your lashes anyway. People want the link to your dress anyway. Why not make money? Now, the fourth part of this video was gonna be me talking about my online store, but I think I'm just gonna make that its own separate video because there's so much detail and depth that I can go into that. And it really is, I mean, it's running a business. Um, if you guys don't know, I have my own brand. I have my own store. I have a link down below if you're interested in checking it out. This is not a promo video. I'm trying to help you make money, okay? But yeah. Um, I think I'm gonna make that its own separate its own separate video. How to run like a Shopify business, how to start your brand, how to brand, how to market and promote on social media, all that types of stuff. I think that'd be really beneficial because there's so many young bosses out there starting their own brands and I love that for us honestly. This is the generation of get to that mother effing bag. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed, leave me a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Instagram. I'll see you guys in my next video. Mwah! Bye. Why can I not do a peace sign? I literally just put up the number three trying to do a peace sign. Bye.